In the past two weeks, there has been a spike in COVID-19 cases among children in Pennsylvania. And now the Department of Health is asking young teens to download the COVID Alert app. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy has details. Throughout the pandemic, there have been nearly 28,000 cases of COVID-19 among children in Pennsylvania. 8,150 of those cases have been recorded in the last two weeks alone. Despite the rise, there is no statewide mandate to switch to remote learning. As I discussed last week, the decision on instructional models in schools is still a local one. Counties under the substantial level of transmission are encouraged to move to remote learning, but schools that don't had until today to certify they are following all safety measures. They agree to double down through this attestation form to adhere to the mitigation strategy as it relates to face covering. If they don't, they'll have to go fully remote and suspend all extracurricular activities. If parents or teachers have concerns, a spokesman for the Pennsylvania State Education Association says they should voice them. Every school district in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania needs to follow the public health guidelines. Uh, including transitioning to remote instruction uh, when there is a substantial amount of community spread. With the rise in cases among children 5 through 18, the Pennsylvania Department of Health is now allowing anyone 13 and older to use the COVID Alert PA app. Making that app available to more students will put those resources in their hands to help fight this virus. Dr. Levine says so far 623,000 people have already downloaded the app. By expanding the age range, middle and high school students will be able to add their phones to the fight and help in contact tracing that occurs in their schools if a positive case is identified. The young teens can only use the app with parental consent. In Wilkes-Barre, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News. With COVID-19 vaccines in their final stages, Dr. Levine says that there are currently no plans to require vaccinating school-aged children.